really appreciate you staying with us. People who find themselves or loved ones facing a mental health crisis only need to remember three numbers for help. The number is 988 and the switch to 988 is a nationwide initiative to make it easier for people in crisis to get the assistance that they need. So to get a little perspective on this, I want to bring in Dr. Cheryl Brosig Soto from Children's Wisconsin to discuss what this means for people in need. So doctor, of course, we appreciate you joining us this afternoon. Can you talk a little bit about what exactly 988 is and who it's available to? Sure, so 988 is actually um, not new, but the three digit number is new. So it's um, the former suicide and crisis uh, lifeline that was a 1-800 number. Um, and within the last month, the three digit number has been, imp been implemented to make it easier for people to remember um, so that when they're in a crisis, they're able to call in. It's sort of similar to um, when we used to have to look up the number for the fire department or the police, and then that moved to 911, much easier for people to remember. So this is similar, but only for mental health emergencies. And doctor, so of course you're from Children's Wisconsin, so I want to ask about Children's Wisconsin's involvement in the 988 hotline. Why is there such an emphasis on kids here? Well, unfortunately, um, we are facing a mental health crisis in the United States, and sadly, children are um, significantly impacted. Um, many of the deaths by suicide happen with children. Um, and so we, we want to have crisis services available, um, and this, this 988 number is for children and adults. Mm. And the 988 service launched about a month ago. I know you said nothing new, but it launched about a month ago now. So what kind of response have you seen so far? And are you seeing like any increase in calls here? Yes, yeah, so states have been reporting a significant increase in the number of calls. Mm -hmm. And Wisconsin Department of Human Services pre predicts that this year, the number of calls may almost double compared to last year. And just to put that into context, there were nearly 30,000 calls to the, the lifeline last year. I think um, part of the issue is it's easier for people to remember. Um, there's also been a lot of national uh, publicity about the number. And I think as a society, we're getting more comfortable in talking about mental health, which is a good thing. Mm. Well, that just shows to show you how important mental health is. Uh, doctor, we appreciate you joining us this afternoon and such an important conversation. And again, you if you or, yeah, we appreciate it. And again, if you or someone you know is having a mental health crisis, just dial that number 988. Someone at the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline will be available 24 seven. It's so important to remember.